Zach Hughes with Deutsche Beverage. And I'm Tony Carbo with Deutsche Beverage. Today we're going to be working on a SPX pump. This is a C114. Yep, today we'll be uh, demonstrating showing how to adjust the spring tension on your pump. So you know that the spring tension needs to be adjusted if your pump is screaming or squealing. That's going to indicate your carbon seal is being pressed up against the back plate of the pump a little too tightly. Or if your pump is leaking, that's going to tell you that the, car or the carbon seal is not being pressed up against the back plate of the pump and it's letting some uh, fluid through. You'll need a standard set of Allen wrenches. We're going to be using 564th wrench. And then on top of that, uh, it's a 13 millimeter wrench that we were looking for, but we didn't have that available, so we'll be using an adjustable. Yeah, so the first step in any adjustment or maintenance that you're doing on any of your items that come with your uh, DBT system is making sure that you're safe and that you are following your safety procedures. So if you have a lockout tagout procedure at your facility, make sure you're following that appropriately, making sure you're not receiving any power to this pump and making sure that there's no chance of this thing turning on. So once you have followed all your safety procedures and done everything the right way, we're gonna take off the safety cage. That'd be the first step of this process. So once you have done all your necessary safety procedures, the second step in this process, first step is always safety. Second step is making sure that you are removing this nut on your safety cage. So like Zach mentioned earlier, this is just a 13 millimeter nut, just a lock nut. So loosened it a little bit, unscrewing it here, and then removing the safety cage. There you go. And then after you get to this step, this is where you're gonna need your Allen. So basically these are the two set screws that you have right here. What we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be loosening these set screws up. We're gonna loosen the tension up on this spring. This is a consumable item. So, you know, this carbon seal does wear out. So what we did is we marked some lines on here, just kind of guidelines. So basically, you know, what we're shooting for to try to loosen it up, we're gonna to try to shoot for about an eighth inch this time. So once you loosen these Allens up, We're just gonna put a thumb on here, and loosen this spring up a little bit. So if I rotate this line, this is where I'm gonna be tightening it up now. And this will be more of a fill. So basically what I'm looking for is I'm gonna move this a little bit at a time until I find a sweet spot. And once I get the squeal, I'll turn this, or I'll unlock this motor. I'll basically turn it back on and I'll be running this. And what I want to do is I want to make sure that I don't have that uh, that loud squeal sign anymore. And it's the opposite if you're uh, if you're leaking water, you're going to be tightening it up at that point. So like Zach mentioned, this is an iterative process. So in this scenario, we were dealing with a pump spring that was a little too tight, and you had a squealing kind of issue running with your pump. So you're going to start with backing it up on an eighth of an inch, you know, and then recheck it, you know, kind of rerun the pump. If it still has that squealing issue, back it up another eighth of an inch and see if you're gonna find that Goldilocks zone. You know that you've gone too far if your pump starts leaking and vice versa. If you start with a leaky pump, you know you've gone too far the other way if your, pump, if your uh, pump starts squealing again.